Hey everyone, welcome back to Exquisite Info TV. Today we're headed to the vibrant sugarcane fields of Abug, Pamplona, Negros Oriental. Join us as we explore the heart of this thriving farm, uncovering the rich stories behind sugarcane cultivation and the hardworking farmers who bring this essential crop to life. Get ready to learn, discover, and experience the beauty of rural life in the countryside. Stay tuned. For farmers, droughts result in a lack of water for crops and livestock, reduced soil moisture, and sometimes the complete loss of harvests, leading to economic hardship, food insecurity, and long-term damage to agricultural systems. Droughts occur due to prolonged periods of below average rainfall, which lead to water shortages. This happens for several reasons, including climate patterns such as El Nino, which can disrupt normal weather cycles and cause dry conditions in certain regions. Global climate change also contributes to more frequent and severe droughts. In sugarcane farming, removing grass is essential for ensuring a healthy and productive crop. Grass and weeds compete with sugarcane for crucial resources such as water, sunlight and nutrients in the soil. If left unchecked, they can significantly hinder the growth of the sugarcane, reducing its yield and quality. Grass roots often spread quickly and aggressively, forming a dense mat that can choke young sugarcane plants, slowing their development by removing the grass Farmers allow the sugarcane to establish a stronger root system, which leads to taller and healthier stalks. Additionally, without competition from weeds, the sugarcane can absorb more nutrients and water, leading to higher sugar content and a better harvest. Maintaining clean fields also helps control pests and diseases. Many insects and harmful fungi thrive in the dense cover of weeds and Removing this cover reduces the risk of infestations that could damage the crop. The National Irrigation Administration, NIA, in the Philippines, provides water irrigation for farmers in areas like Pamplona, Negros Oriental, to support agricultural productivity, particularly for rice and sugarcane farming. In the region, agriculture is a primary source of livelihood and access to reliable water sources is crucial for crop growth, especially during dry seasons. The irrigation systems help ensure a steady water supply, allowing farmers to cultivate more land, improve yields, and reduce the risk of crop failure. It also promotes sustainable farming practices, increases food security, and boosts the local economy by enhancing farm productivity. Sugarcane farming is common in Pamplona Negros Oriental, primarily because the land and climate are well suited for growing sugarcane. The region's fertile soil, abundant rainfall and warm tropical climate create ideal conditions for sugarcane cultivation. Additionally, the terrain in many parts of Negros Oriental, including Pamplona, is conducive to large-scale farming. These factors, combined with the established infrastructure for sugar production in the area, make sugarcane a dominant crop in Pamplona.
This footbridge provides easy access for residents, farmers and workers to cross the river, especially for those traveling to farms, schools or nearby communities. Without it, crossing might be difficult, especially for those carrying goods or equipment. Even during dry seasons when the river may be shallow, a bridge ensures reliable crossing as the riverbed may still be rocky or muddy. Thank you for joining us today as we explored the rich sugarcane fields of Abug, Pamplona, Negros Oriental. We hope you enjoyed learning more about this essential part of the local farming industry and how it continues to thrive. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Exquisite Info TV for more exciting and educational content. Share your thoughts in the comments below and let us know what you want to see next. Until next time, stay curious and keep discovering.